Welcome back to Gizmo News. Today you'll find some exciting news on Coachella, the Secret Food Society, a great new community project, as well as a scam alert. Stick around to the end for all the news. And if you like this style of video, please remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any news on NFTs. Coachella's first collection of collectible NFTs has been announced. This 10-year pass includes a digital Coachella key that grants access to the festival for 10 years. Holders of the 10 Coachella NFTs can go to Coachella each year. NFT holders will be allowed to access exclusive Coachella-produced virtual experiences and front row tickets. They can also enjoy a celebrity chef dinner. Coachella has partnered with cryptocurrency exchange FTX in order to create these new NFTs on Solana's blockchain. On February 4th, two more drops will be available. These include the Sights and Sound Collection, which includes 10,000 NFTs with never-before-seen soundscapes and festival images at $60 each. And the Desert Reflections Collection, which contains 1,000 NFTs for $180 each to celebrate Coachella's 20-year legacy, as well as a photo book with photographs from 1999 to 2019. Coachella chose Solana, has lower transaction fees, and has a lower environmental impact. FTX will purchase 100,000 tons of carbon offsets to offset its carbon footprint. This is to ensure that NFT collections are aligned with festival values. Sam Schoonover, Coachella's innovation leader, hinted at further metaverse-related plans, where he said, As the metaverse develops, we will create more opportunities to fans to have fun, interact with one another, and have their favorite artists both online and offline. Seneca NFT collection is based on the synagogue decor. Seneca NFT was the first collection to raise funds for a synagogue. The NFT collection was created by a group of young rabbis supported by Russian chief rabbi Burl Lezer. The Seneca NFT collection consists of four NFT tokens. Each of them is a 3D replica of one of the decorations of Russia's main synagogues. These include the Moscow Jewish Community Center, a community center that houses offices and studios, as well as a synagogue. The Aron Kodesh, a holy ark used to store the Torah scrolls. Bema, a platform where the Torah can be read. Amud is a lectern at the front of the synagogue. There are four other NFTs in the Sedeka NFT collection, apart from the ones mentioned above. The NFT copies are the coins that were issued in 2000 when the synagogue was opened. These NFT coins can be purchased by interested parties at fixed prices without the need to partake in the auction. The NFT project supports Russia's Jewish community. The funds will be used by the synagogue to support the daily operations of the institution and the community. Sedeka NFT holders who participate in this project will be able to get a certificate from the Jewish community certifying their participation. Religious NFTs have been released by Jewish communities all over the globe to help fund a variety of projects. To raise funds for the new Sefer Torahs, Jonathan Karras and Rabbi Mordecai Lichstone launched NF Torah last year. Dup, the Secret Food Society. Now, what's not to love about the Secret Food Society? The NFT community is unique in that it combines two of the most beloved things in life, food and NFTs. Series 001 is a collection of 100 hand-drawn art pieces that represent different foods and beverages from around the globe. The limited collection is currently available on the secondary marketplace at a price of approximately a quarter ETH. The Secret Food Society offers many benefits to members. One of the benefits is the opportunity to go on an all-expense-paid food tour around the globe. There will also be limited edition drops of free products from food and beverage brands like Subway, Shake Shack, and many more. The project will also finance various community projects. The artwork in the new series is, relatively speaking, leaps and bounds better than the existing collection. The VIP privileges of the original group collectors will continue to be available. Series 001 sold out in three hours, so don't miss out on Series 002. Now, for our new NFT scam alert. NFT and crypto scams are becoming more sophisticated and creative. You can't be too careful to protect your digital assets. A new scam has emerged in the NFT community just two weeks before the National Football League's Super Bowl 56. Here's a scam breakdown. NFT owners will be invited by the quote-unquote NFL commissioner to use their NFTs during the Super Bowl commercial. NFT owners who have been selected must respond to this invitation and provide their security phrases by February 5th. They will then receive a WETH invitation. It's not surprising that NFT holders were chosen from blue chip projects like Basie. 
Numerous NFT holders have shared their invitations via Twitter. And fortunately, many people are not aware of the scam. Some have even expressed admiration for those who have received these invitations based on Twitter comments. NFT News is circulating the community about the NFL Super Bowl NFT integration. To create more personalized experiences for the fans, the NFL has released a series of commemorative virtual tickets. Many Twitter influencers also suggested that the Bored Ape Yacht Club could be featured on the Super Bowl halftime. This mega event could be a scam for owners of NFT projects. NFT scams have become so common that many insurance companies now offer coverage for digital assets. The rule of thumb in all cases is never give out your security phrase. Gizmo News does not endorse any investment or offer financial advice. This is all educational material. So always do your research before making any type of investment. If you liked this video, please remember to like it and subscribe so you don't miss any more of our NFT videos.